Well, here at historic Riggs Field, the Tigers with a 3-1 victory over George in the home opener for them. Don Munson, Eddie Redwanski along with you. 2-0 now on the season. Two wins over two SEC teams over the weekend, winning at Auburn 2-1 in the 3-1 victory here over Georgia. Uh, good start to the weekend. Nice job by our kids. Uh, you know, it was a wonderful win on Friday night down in hostile territory in Auburn, and it was two you know top-ranked teams playing each other. And we knew this was going to be a difficult game because uh, Georgia's got a solid team, a great coaching staff, uh, and they, we, we knew they were going to give us our best. So it was, uh, you know, to come away with uh, two victories on the weekend and against SEC opponents, that's a great way to start the season. All right, well, here against Georgia, you get the, the first goal comes uh, from Claire Wagner, comes off a deflection, and she just buried that ball. Uh, it was a good finish. You know, we had been knocking on the door early on. You know, we came out with our foot on the throttle, and we, didn't bounce our way. We we're a little, little bit off, of, uh, but we just were very persistent. And once we got the goal, that kind of settled things down a little bit. So it was good finish by Claire. Goal number two was early in the second half. Mackin with a nice cross, and and right there was Weston to finish it off. Oh, it was a great goal. Uh, you know, Julie's just been uh, doing a great job, especially being a freshman, and she's dangerous in wide areas. And Jenna Weston's just been a handful in there. The timing of the goal was uh, it was a quality finish, and you know that's what you want to do when you come out of the gate. Uh, right at halftime and get that goal you know and then a little disappointed just a few minutes later you know we conceded a goal but you know what it's early on you know everything's not always going to be perfect <laughs> I know you wanted to be perfect you get record in the ball game and Paige hasn't been in the game but 60 or 90 seconds and then what does she do she turns around and puts it in the net Paige record makes an impact every time she's on the field and she's given that to us every year and I know I God bless the kid because she's, you know, not quite 100% physically, but she gives her heart every time she steps on the field. And nobody else deserves a goal in her. I was happy for her. I knew something was going to be happening because I could just see her, her focus today and warm-up was, was solid. And Paige will always give me her best. And I was happy for her. It was a great goal. And lastly, what we've seen in the first two regular season games for you, depth and depth of plenty for your ball club. Well, big big difference from last year, as you know, Don. We, you, know, la you know, this year we've got a lot of depth in a number of positions. We can play a lot of people. And that's, that was always good. Gets people experience. Gets, uh, it helps with recovery. Uh, we, we feel like we got a lot of different weapons. So I think that was kind of a nice advantage tonight to play, you know, 20 plus players like we were able to do and uh, you know we're going to utilize that throughout the season. All right all thumbs up for the home opener here for Clemson as Clemson downs Georgia by a score of three to one. For Eddie Redwanski I'm Don Munson thanks for being with us here on ClemsonTigers.com.